good day, Christian friends. Our attitude is everything. Let me encourage your hearts today from the book of Acts, chapter 16, verses 25 through 26. And at about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And at once, all prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. We all have a choice. Every day, and in every situation, and in every circumstance, we all are faced with choices. We can become discouraged with our present situation, or we can give thanks to God, even in the midst of overwhelming and challenging situations. Look at Paul and Silas, as we see in this text. Had they responded negatively, having been beaten, having been stripped of their clothes, having been handcuffed and thrown into jail, we would have never heard the story as it is told in the Bible. However, scripture tells us that at midnight, they were praying, they were singing praises to God, they were rejoicing and thanking God for his goodness. That's right. Paul and Silas were not arguing with each other. They were not complaining with each other. They were not complaining and, 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 and fretting against God. They, but they praised God in their trying situation. And you know, God honored their praise. God honored their prayers. God honored their devotion to him. And God inhabited their praises. God inhabited their singing. God inhabited their worship in that prison cell. That as they prayed to him, as they praised him, as they sang praises to God, an earthquake shook the foundation of the prison and everyone's chains were loosed. Not only were Paul and Silas delivered, but also the other prisoners. Scripture tells us that the jailer rushed right on in, and he was fearful for his life. He was trembling, and he asked them, what must I do to be saved? My life is on the line. And Paul and Silas, their response to him was, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your house. And you know, that Philippian jailer got down on his knees and prayed the prayer of salvation. And not only that, he witnessed to his family, and that night the entire family, both the jailer and all of his family members, came to know the Lord Jesus as their personal and indwelling Savior. Today, you'll be faced with a choice. You'll be faced with a challenge. But I encourage you today to choose thanksgiving in every circumstance, in all things, Give thanks unto the Lord. Have a blessed day.